you're all doing well. Happy Sunday, wherever you are in the world. Maybe Monday for some of you. Please note these are general messages so they won't resonate with everyone. Just take what does, leave the rest. If you want a personal reading, you can book one online and you can find the link to my description. Or sorry, <laughs> you can find the link to the website in the description box below. I feel like I'm a little on autopilot right now. Trying to shake off a, a tad bit of a headache. Let's see what we got from my beautiful Cancerians. Alchemy. Well, you are in the process of creating. That is your overall energy. You are taking on the energy of the alchemist. You may have been spending some time alone. You could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Could be the foundation, another water sign. Uh huh. What do I got here? Beautiful. I like it. Now I'm gonna get some help and hindrances here. Or hindrances for that matter, see what's going on. Hope you're all having a good day. I cannot believe how warm the weather has been here throughout December. It is honestly incredibly warm to a point of, I don't even think we're gonna get snow for Christmas. And that just feels a little weird. So, what I've got for you is obviously there's something that you want, you're wanting to make it happen. You're not showing your emotions very much, although there are a lot of emotions. Emotions of kindness, caring, gentleness, someone who's wise, charismatic, could be you, could be a person you're dealing with or that you have your eyes. Set on. The way that this individual is holding that cup in her hand, I feel like there's something that is brewing. It's like you're trying to find all of the right ingredients to create exactly what it is that you want. Your guard was let down. And you let a lot in. I think maybe you've even opened up to some new ways of doing things, new approaches. New approaches that you're taking with you in terms of making changes in your life. In your recent past, you're moving on from some rocky waters into some calm waters. And I focus on the frog in this card, the bottom, leapfrog. I'm getting leapfrog. Jumping over hurdles, jumping over the things that you don't need. You've done a great job in discerning what ingredients you need to create what it is that you want. You're offering your heart, you're opening up, or somebody is offering their heart and opening it up to you. This is Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. A lot of water in this chart or in this reading. As you've moved along, you may even physically moved. You could have physically moved from a home to a new town, to a new city, to a new province, state, or country. With that, your heart, I feel, has opened and you're attracting romantic suitors. Some of you may have just gotten into a relationship and it's a new beginning. Maybe you have a mother that doesn't approve of the connection. Maybe 
Maybe she's telling you you can do better, you can find better, there is better out there. Or maybe your friends are saying that this person doesn't give to you as much as you deserve. But I feel that you're so incredibly in love with this person, whoever it is, that it doesn't matter. You don't, you don't care about what it is that somebody else is trying to get you to manifest because I'm hearing, screw it, it's my life. It's my life, it's what I want, and it's going to be the way that I want it. Perhaps somebody was even acting like a fool recently, just in, or is acting like a fool right now. And you may have closed down. Maybe you don't feel as though this connection is going anywhere. So if it isn't a, a motherly influence, maybe you just don't feel as though this is, this is going anywhere. Somebody could have enforced their aggression. Maybe you're enforcing your aggression a little bit because there's something that you want and what I feel that you want is a smooth sailing connection. Not that filled with ego issues or fighting words or trying to one-up each other. Somebody in the past made you feel as though they were better. Perhaps they were a little condescending. It could have been condescending in their words and their actions. Maybe they projected their thoughts and criticisms onto you. They could have been just downright ignorant, to be honest. And because of it, you decided it was time to go. You drew boundaries and you implemented them, but what's brilliant is, is you've got somebody new coming in. Perhaps your heart isn't fully open to this new person yet in this brand new relationship. But I feel as though things are gonna pick up. If it felt a little stagnant, if it felt a little stuck, or that it wasn't really going anywhere, it was just, you know, having fun, hanging out, whatever, that kind of deal. I think that in the near future here, things are gonna pick up very quickly with this Eight of Wands energy. And maybe somebody's mother or a motherly figure will not be so happy about it, but, and this is just for a few of you, but I'm getting stepmother as well. Any type of figure like that, they may not be happy with it, but that has nothing to do with you, nor does it have anything to do with your partner. That's their problem. So don't allow their criticism, if that's what it was in the past, to inter interfere or intervene. Put up those boundaries and stick to them. If that's the type of person that you were dealing with. Because I'm getting this feeling like there's some motherly figure who's who's putting people down in this connection, or they're trying to insert themselves where really it's none of their business. But it looks as though there could be some journey or travel. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe there's a little bit of dread about um, the holidays. Say if you're going to visit someone for Christmas or the holiday closure, if you get that where you are, and maybe you're just dreading it because you don't get along with your in-laws, parents. But I also think that some of you might be taking a different approach. If there was a lack of nurturing, loving or kind energy from your in-laws, parents, or maybe your parents to your partner, I feel as though you guys are gonna try something a little different this year, a little different in 
how how you approach the situation. Instead of maybe fighting your ground, you might just get into a point of not saying anything. Just letting them spout off and do whatever they want. Because you just don't want to fight. You don't want to you don't want to deal with it. So you'll definitely be traveling, heading out on this holiday. But interestingly to the magician, whatever it is that you're implementing, I feel as though it's going to work. Because as above, so below. You're drawing on your power, your personal power here to maintain your own self-control and your own emotions with whomever this is that might be giving you grief. If it's not a motherly figure, it could even be a sister or an aunt. There's just some female energy that I'm feeling. And gender doesn't matter either. It, it, it could be a um, feminine man who just likes to really not show the love and affection to their, to their children or to their children's partner for that matter. But it doesn't matter because this union is special to you and you are going to do whatever it takes to continue making sure that it happens. Someone might try and drive a wedge between your plans. And if it's not a motherly figure, maybe it's an ex of some sort. There could be an ex. Maybe your partner's ex or your ex that might be trying to drive a wedge between this new beginning. But it doesn't matter because you guys have the power and you're going to make it happen. And with this Knight of Cups, it's moving forward. As well as this Eight of Wands, things are going to pick up. Get some clarification. Eight of Wands, please, Spirit. Yep. Queen of Cups, more water energy. And you guys are counterparts. Look at this. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. You could be married. But if you are married or if you've been in a long term relationship, Your sensitivity might get peaked here by whoever this individual is in the near future. But Spirit is saying that you have the power to deal with whatever this is. And what is this, this manifestation, this power about? Overcoming their lack of love for you or their lack of love for your partner, whoever this is that's causing the issues and trying to stop. The love from happening. I feel as though you guys aren't going to let that happen. Who is this Empress, please, Spirit? Who is this Empress? What is their issue? Seven of Cups choices. Exactly. I feel like this is somebody who's just trying to drive a wedge or a dagger between either your new happiness or someone who's trying to do it to your partner's happiness. You know how people can get. They can get jealous. And they don't like the fact that they may not have the options. They're not loving the fact that they don't have the options or choices that you do or that your partner does or that your partner moved on so quickly. What was this? Six of Swords. Yeah, they could be scorned because your partner moved on very quickly from whatever it was. Exactly. See, somebody left a relationship. I feel like somebody left a relationship maybe even to be with you or you left a relationship to be with this new person. But I feel like there is... Um, an ex from the past who has real problems with it. They don't want to see you guys happy. Or perhaps even this could be a mother who's not happy, like I said, with your choices. 
but it, again, it doesn't matter. That's that's their problem. If it's a parental figure, that that's their problem. And here you go. There's that fool energy that is the focus position right now, and the star, angel of hope and healing. This is a time of healing and renewal. So yeah, I think you're just going to take a different approach in terms of how you deal with this individual. You both might be taking a united front or a united stand, right? Because you have that king and queen of cups and you both might be setting up some boundaries here and really holding firm to them. What is alchemy, please? Recognition, six of wands, beautiful. There it is. Your partner loves you and you love your partner to the point where you both are going to be victorious in, in going forward in your connection. Nothing's going to stop it. Nothing is going to get in its way. There's success and victory here. And usually the five of wands comes before the six of wands. So again, that's a bunch of interference from a bunch of other people. So I feel as though you both have come through some serious struggles with some opposing forces around you, competition possibly, but you're the victor here. Beautiful Cancerians, you're the victor. And so is your partner. You guys are meant to be. So anybody else's hoo-hawing or, or beaking about the situation, don't even let it phase you because this is yours. This connection is yours, and it's yours to do with it what you will. I also feel that there's a that you guys are hopelessly in love with each other. It's adorable, really. What is this Knight of Cups? I'm really getting this this unified presence. Like we're together. Nobody's going to destroy us. See. No matter what's coming at you, this is this is avoiding a tower moment. This relationship is surviving very strongly, I might add. Surviving any types of hindrances that may be coming at it. You're avoiding it. And that's brilliant. But it's this united front that I'm getting. You both recognize what is important to you. Your values are in alignment as well as what you want is in alignment. That's why you're succeeding, so keep going. Keep going in whatever it is that you're manifesting together. And it's possible too, what I'm also getting from this future is that the more that you guys stick to your united front, the more others are finally going to back off. Because they're going to see that this is just going to continuously grow. So they might actually start being more respectful and gaining a sensitivity and compassion for your situation. Instead of them being all about themselves and what they want or what they think would be best. Right? So yeah. I think you got this, Cancerians. I love it. <laughs> I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and talk to you guys soon. Have a great one.